We understand that testing is a process which helps us to find defects in an application or product. But does that really mean or can we also say that testing allows us to find all possible defects in a product? Or does that also mean that it is possible to deliver a defect-free product to the market? Let's talk more about it today. friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and today we are talking about how capable testing is to find defects in the product which you are actually testing with several techniques and approaches which you apply as a combined approach. So we are talking about one of the principles in testing today. The very first principle of testing is testing shows presence of defects. Now this statement means a lot. That means testing is a process which helps you to find defects in a product or application. Or otherwise you could also understand it as that testing is a process in terms of like by conducting testing you generally identify defects on a product. You just can't find defects by looking onto it. You just can't find by analyzing it. You have to perform some kind of interaction with the product like in terms of executing test cases on the application by running the application with a systematic approach and that helps you to find defects. But at the same time, the principle also adds an additional input to that. It does not prove the absence of defect. Otherwise, when you talk about testing shows presence of defect, we also understand at the same time that testing does not prove absence of defect. When we talk in detail about the second part of this statement that testing does not prove absence of defect, what does that really mean? As testing is a process to uh, a systematic approach to explore the application and identify different defects, but at the same time the area which are unexplored, the test cases which are unprepared, or the areas or scenarios which you could not cover with enough data then you cannot say that that area will also not have any defects. So the most important part here is to understand the part of the scenario, the part of the requirement, the part of the application which you interact with, with an approach where you are able to find a defect. But the area which goes uncovered or until unless you interact with it by one or the other approaches or techniques of testing, we cannot prove or we cannot make a statement that that area will also not have any defects. The most important part of testing is that it does not come without any constraints. It has a lot of such factors which does not allow us to think widely or have tried with all our possible combinations on the product. We'll be talking more about what exactly the different combination and what exactly exhaustive testing is in the next episode. But here we are trying to make you understand that until unless you explore each and every corner with all possible test cases, you cannot make a statement that this product is defect free. So probably it is impossible for a human being to create all possible cases. Or even if you try creating that, you do not have enough time to prepare all possible test cases. So what is that we do? Do we deliver a defect prone product to the market? No. At the same time, when we do not promise you that we have found 100% of defects in the product, but at the same time, we also promise you or give you that confidence that all the major critical and tribal defects have been identified and this product is safe and reliable to be used in the market Meanwhile, we figure out the other minor issues or if there are any risk associated factors which could not be resolved during the process and we are busy working on that. And that's the reason even after you get a product and you are using it, you keep getting a lot of updates, a lot of upgrades happening on the same to keep you posted with those fixes and defects which are later identified. But the most important parameter for a testing team would be to make sure that by the time you release a product, there are no major and critical failures happening on the product so that the users find it reliable and easy to use. 
So putting it all together when you talk about presence of defects or testing shows presence of defects, it generally means that testing is an approach or a systematic process which helps you to identify defects but at any point of time does not prove absence of defect. That means no matter you have been testing it for 2 years, 5 years, 10 years but still the testing does not make a statement that you have found all the defects in the product. If you go on testing, probably you would find some more. So testing is a never ending process. So team, I hope you really enjoyed this episode about understanding more in depth of testing. We'll be getting back to you shortly with another video and another concept about testing in Nasher. So stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, any concerns related to the video and related to testing, feel free to comment below and I'll be there to address your queries. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.